Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is second part of primary checkpoint April 2024 uh, paper 1. So, here we will be doing the remaining question that we left in uh, previous part. So, this is paper 1. So, calculator is not allowed for this one. So, kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and share it with your friends and I will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section about the feedback. Now, let us start uh, question 18. Yusuf has a coin. He flips the coin 4 times. He records the outcomes each time. Here are the results. Heads, heads, tails and heads. Yusuf thinks that probability of getting tails is 25 percent. Uh, Yusuf wants to improve uh, want to improve uh, his experiment. He thinks the four different methods. Uh, tick the method that will produce the most reliable estimate of the probability of getting a tail. Now, he uh, uh, did this experiment four times, right. So, as you can see question is lengthy, but it is not hard try to uh, get it do not leave uh, such kind of questions. So, what is the most important uh, thing to get a reliable uh, estimate of the probability like first do 4 more trials, do 6 more trials and do 8 more trials, but ask someone else to flip it this is not going to help do 10 more trials. So, as many as trials he will do the results are going to be the correct one. So, that is the correct answer. Now, write down a number in the uh, to make uh, this calculation correct. So, answer is 20. So, if we add 8 here it will make it 20. So, but it should be negative because 12 is also negative minus 8 minus 12 will give you uh, minus 20 right. Uh, Samira has 4 beads and 2 pots. She has 2 pots here. Let me just draw a pot here. Uh, she has 2 pots and 4 beads. She want to put the beads in pots. A represent number of pots in one pot, B represent number of uh, beads in another pot. Write down all possible uh, values of A. Let us say she puts all the beads here in this one uh, B and then there will be nothing remaining here. So, that is one possibility. So, A 0, B 4, then she puts she can put 1 here, 3 here, 2 and 2 same in this, then she can put 3 here and 1 here, then <coughs> she can put all 4 in A and nothing in B. So, these are the possibilities right. Number 21, a table has a rectangular top, the length of the top is 2 meters and the width is this one. So, this is the length and width, calculate the area. So, area of rectangle you know that it is length times width. So, which is 2 times 3 over 4. So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, this is 3 over 2 which is 1.5 or 1 and 1 over 2. So, this is the area. Now, 22 Carlos uses digit cards to make a 4 digit number. The number is divisible by 9 write down the missing number in the box. So, uh, num if sum of digits if sum of digits are multiple of 9 right only then a number is divisible by 9. So, we can add this 3 plus 1 plus 4 right plus something else. Uh, so, 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 4 is 8. So, we should have 1 here we can put 1 here right. Uh, is he using uses digit card to make 4 digits yeah. So, we can use 1 here to make the answer here 9. So, then this number is going to be divisible or you may have like the next one is 18. So, 8 uh, you can also put 10 no no 10 we cannot put 10 here because then this will become uh, 2 digits here. So, 1 will be going to go here right. So, next we have number 23 Lily chooses an improper fraction. She says the numerator is multiple of 2. So, this is a numerator it may be 2, 4, 6, 8 and the denominator is less than 6. Less than 6 may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right. The value of fraction is greater than 1 and less than 2 this fraction is greater than 1 and less than 2. So, this may be like if you take here numerator is multiple of 2. Uh, so, it can be 
new the value of fraction is greater than 1 and but less than 2 ok. So, it can be 6 over 5 right then uh, number 24 Ahmed fixes the chain between uh, some posts the length of each chain is 1.8 meters he uses 14 chains calculate the total length so it's very simple so 1.8 is one length and we have 14 such if you multiply this you are going to get 25.2 that is the final answer it's just multiplication guys you can easily do that now number 25 here are 5 terms in the number sequence we have these I can keep adding 9 until I get uh, to 20th term I can also calculate 20th term without using addition calculate to show how you calculate 20th term. Now if like you can see this is addition of 9 here for each term to get the next term right. And so that means the common difference is D. So we have the formula of finding the nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, a is 9 which is the first term, a is the first term, n is the nth term uh, and we are looking for sorry, we are looking for the uh, 20th term. So, n is going to be 20 here. So, n is going to be 20 and d is 9 right. So, it is 9 plus 19 times 9. So, 9 plus 171 which is 180 right. So, this is the formula you guys to need to remember a plus n minus 1 into d a is the first cut term and d is the common difference right. Now, next we have number 26 a library wants uh, to know if older children borrow more books if older children borrow more books right. The library records the ages of the children and the number of books they borrow one month. Here are the result these are the number of books here these are age of children. Tick to show whether the statements about information of the graph are true or false. The first one is in general in general as the age of children increases the number of uh, books borrowing is decreasing as you can see here number of books is uh, 35, 30 and as the age is increasing this way the number of borrowing uh, the books is uh, less than the, uh, the, the smaller children right. So, it is true and then the 14 years old borrow more books than 13 years as uh, if you see 14 years, 14 years is here and 13 years is here you can see. 13 years is less than the 14 years. So, this is also true. Uh, two uh, children each borrow 10 books, two children each borrow 10 books, 10 books is here. So, two children, but there are 1, 2, 3, 3 children are borrowing 10 books. So, this is false, right. So, we will take over here. Uh, next, we have number 27 here is the shape of uh, drawn on a square grid the side of each square is uh, uh, 1 centimeter tick all the expression that each can be calculate the area. So, we see here we have how many squares we have 6 squares this way uh, 6 and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 this way. So, if you you can divide it like this. So, this is 6 times 6 that is 6 square then this is 2 square. So, if you add so first one is correct this one cannot be then uh, 2 times 6 times 4 and 2 times 4 uh, 6 times 4 and 2 times 4 uh, that is not correct and then we have 6 times 6 plus 4 this is correct. So, 6 times 6 we have there 6 times 6 here and then these 4 squares right. So, that is it. Now, next one write a number in each box. So, to make the calculation correct. So, something divided by 5 right. So, that means here it will be 5 denominator 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 7. So, it should be 7 here. Now, number 29 Chen chooses a 3D shape. Chen says, uh, says my shape has 2 triangular faces and 3 rectangular faces. Sketch the shape that Chen is choosing. So, uh, there are two ways one is uh, sorry so it can be let me draw it over here like 
like this triangular then let's say we have three dots here so you are not given the dimension so can choose in any way like this okay yeah then number 30 uh, anesthesia has some rectangles and some squares she uses them to make a cuboid we have a cuboid here each square has area of 25 each rectangle has area of uh, 15 so this area is 15 and this area is 25 calculate the surface area so as we have the length width and height we can easily do uh, the calculation length is 5 width is 5 and height is 3 so surface area is 2 the formula is 2 length times width plus width times height plus height times length right so 2 into length times width is 5 times 5 plus 5 times 3 plus 3 times 5 right so this is 2 into 25 plus 15 plus 15 so 2 times 55 which is 110 centimeters right now let's move to next question we have here number 31 a rectangle has an isosceles triangle on a straight line calculate the value of angle marked a we are looking for this angle as you can see this is 5 and this is 5 so these two sides are equal so meaning this angle and this angle is same right so from here uh, y plus y which is 2y 2y plus 80 is going to be 180 sum of angles of triangle so 2y is 180 minus 80 is 100 divide by 2 divide by 2 so y is 50 so we got y as 50 so this angle is now 50 so this angle is 90 because this is a, a rectangle so we will have 90 plus a plus 50 is 180 right so from here a is going to be 180 minus 90 plus 50 140 so that is going to be 40 so it is 40 degrees right now next one here a uh, here is a shape drawn on the grid on the mirror line draw the reflection so we are going to reflect this shape here uh, so you can see here we have one square so this point is going to come over here then we have a, a from mirror line 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 it's going to be here and this side we have a 1 2 3 so 1 2 and uh, 1 2 and 3 so it's going to be like this use ruler guys please so then here we have this is one diagonal two diagonal here like this okay now number 33 uh, write a number on each line so that the time equivalence uh, though so the time intervals are equal this is 60 minutes so this is uh, 132 minutes guys i have to make it faster actually my battery is dying uh, 0 105 so just multiply here by 60 to get this one and here to 60 also you are get, going to get multiply 60 and 60 from here also 60 right now the next one here we have Gabriela's makes this is the last question makes a spinner using number less than 10 uh, so numbers less than 10 are 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and 7 um, 8 9 right uh, he, uh, she spins spinner 1000 times the probability is 25 percent of the uh, this one so 25 percent 1 is 25 percent so that means uh, 25 over 100 okay so meaning 1 over 4 right so then the probability of number greater than 7 is 0 so there is no number greater than 7 so this is not there uh, so probability of 5 is 75 uh, that is 75 over 100 times uh, 1000 we need not to do actually so we are looking for the percentage 25 times 3 25 times 4 this is 3 over 
uh, 4 but we have here 8 sections so we should have here 8 then uh, it should be 6 ok. Uh, so, now that uh, based upon that the probability of odd number is 50. So, odd numbers are here uh, 1 3. So, 1 and 1 can come twice right and then we can have number uh, we can choose 6 that is the probability of number less than 5 less than 5 uh, we can have here um, we can put less than 5 is 6 less than 5 we have 1 2 3 4 we have already put 50 percent of the less than 5. So, we can take greater than 5 that is 6 can come over here. So, that is it for this video I hope you guys understood everything. So, I will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section. Thank you so much kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. See you in the next video guys be blessed.